so excited because I've been wanting to come here since 2019 and I'm finally here. I got myself a crack and punch with a glow cube. They were nice enough to include it in the prize. Mm. It's delicious. Hope has a goon base mash. A goon base mash. And then we also ordered some food. So I ordered the jerk chicken sandwich. I ordered the pull apart rolls. The rolls have been on my list for a long time and then hope also got the uh loaded fries so we're gonna just chill here very excited just like chill out get away from the parks we're gonna make our way to our hotel soon it's on the skyliner route and then um possibly hop into epcot if we've got time but if not we're gonna head straight to magic kingdom for our lightning lanes about 3 30 and we really could go into our lightning lanes at like close to seven so we've got lots of time and it's just a beautiful day it's warmed up having an amazing time <laughs> So the Caribbean Beach was really a very, very nice, relaxing time there. I just did not really enjoy my meal. The Caribbean jerk sandwich was not flavorful. It wasn't spicy. It didn't have like a jerk flavor or spice. It was okay. I just wouldn't get it again, honestly. The pull apart rolls were good. I liked the onion, like it was like an onion jam or something. That was excellent. Um, but the guava butter was hard and I expected like a softer butter to spread on the rolls. I don't think it was worth the money that I paid, honestly. And I'm glad I did it so that I don't like keep <laughs> over hyping it for what it was. But anyway, um, Hope ran to our room. She had to use the bathroom. I'm going to Animation Hall because I want to swap out my fuel rod. I want to try to find a resort pin because I haven't done that yet. And then I'm thinking of getting a frozen champagne cocktail because I haven't done that yet either. And then meet her in the room, change our clothes, and then by the time that's done, we should be okay to still pop into Epcot for just a bit. Um, finish what we got to do at the festival. But if we can, we'll just go into Magic Kingdom, so we'll see you in a bit. All right, y'all, so I am at the drop-off pool bar at our resort, and I got a frozen champagne cocktail. It is their featured drink from December 31st through January 31st. I did not expect a pink champagne cocktail, but it looks beautiful. <laughs> Over this fireworks, but it was nice. It was nice to see Main Street lit up. Hope, 
Hope loved it. Still prefer it's fantastic, I think. Like the show portion over the overall show of um, of enchantment. But we do have some stats lightning lanes, which is gonna be great. So we have Space Mountain soon. We still have our uh, special lightning lane from getting stuck on Navi River Journey that we haven't used. My plan is to use our lightning lane first, Space Mountain, use the special lightning lane to ride Space Mountain again because it has two different tracks. We have a lightning lane for Big Thunder. We have another one for Jungle Cruise. Um, so we're still not done. The park uh, closes at 11. So we still have a little bit over two hours. I'm gonna try to show her. It's a small world and maybe Carousel of Progress and hopefully Monsters Inc. Lab 4. That's my goal. I don't know if I'll be able to accomplish everything, but once the park officially closes, we're gonna slowly make our way out by uh, checking out the Emporium to get some last minute shopping in, and then we're gonna call it a night. So the vlog is almost over. I can't believe it. This weekend went by so fast, but we had an amazing time. And I am filming on my phone again because my camera has officially crapped the bed. Um, the screen completely came off. So I gotta go to Best Buy for them to fix it, hopefully. If not, I'm probably gonna need a new camera. It sucks, but it is what it is. All right, I'm popping in here for just a bit so I can explain what you're about to see. You're about to see me just like jump right into saying goodbye to Magic Kingdom. I did not film absolutely anything after the fireworks. We had all these stacked lightning lanes and then things just got like, I don't know, like too much. Like I, I started to feel very like tired. I was aching all over. I think we rushed right over to Space Mountain after the fireworks and they were like, oh, Space Mountain is down right now. And I was so, I was livid because we hadn't, you know, done spa uh, Space Mountain up till this point And I was trying to save it for the end of the trip um, because it's like my favorite attraction in Magic Kingdom. And I wanted to show hope, of course, and everything. So we went to Big Thunder Mountain, which we had a lightning lane for, but the, the wait still was like, I'd say like 30 minutes or so. And it just felt like it was moving slow. It was like maybe 30 to 40 minutes. I didn't have fun on Big Butt Thunder Mountain. It, like it was okay, but I just, it didn't feel like as fun as it used to be. I don't know, maybe because I was in a bad mood that night. After Big Thunder, I honestly can't remember what we did, but I think I checked that Space Mountain was back up. So we rushed over to Space Mountain, which if you know, like if your feet are just like aching and your body is so tired and sore, from Frontierland to Tomorrowland is a trek, no matter which way you go, honestly. But we ran over there. My, my, my toes are like this at this point. And um, we got to ride Space Mountain. And then I used my extra lightning lane from when we got stuck on Navi River Journey. I used that so that we could ride it again. Uh, but by that point, we were just absolutely wiped so we did not do Winnie the Pooh we didn't do um Jungle Cruise so I mean those rides are whatever you know it, they weren't like must do I think uh Hope would have liked Jungle Cruise especially at night um but we just we just couldn't we were so done and then Space Mountain just like messed me up internally so like it like just shook everything inside um so I was in the bathroom for probably like <laughs> 20 minutes TMI I know but like I just I I couldn't um I had to go and then um we conked out when we got home so um I just want to explain the gap between <laughs> right after fireworks versus like me telling you like oh we're gonna do all this tonight and then me just saying like bye magic kingdom you know me dipping and everything so yeah that's my explanation I hope you still enjoyed the vlog series and I am so sorry that this vlog came out you know a little too late i had computer issues but i fixed everything um i'm still vlogging on my phone but anyway let's get right back into the vlog bye magic kingdom i love you so much happy 50th we're out Today is Monday, January 16th, um, and it's our travel day going back home. Always a sad day, but I think 
we did so much and had such a overall good trip that I'm not sad that I'm going home. I'm looking forward to the next time I go. Um, I'm looking forward to being home. I'm obviously not looking forward to like work or anything. I do not like working, um, but I do have a day off in a couple of weeks. So I'm just looking forward to that. But um, we actually got some breakfast at Shake Shack. Like, I didn't know that Shake Shack served breakfast at all at any of their locations. I've only ever had lunch and dinner there. So I'm very interested to try it. I got a sausage, egg and cheese sandwich. It sounded like heaven right now. And I also got a, um, like a kid's apple juice. <laughs> we board at 9.30. We're not too far from my gate. And uh, coming back was very easy. It was very chill. Um, the Sunshine Flyer picked us up at 6.40 a.m. So it was an early start to the day. But um, <laughs> I uh, asked the bell services guy at uh, Art of Animation where Sunshine Flyer picked up and just making sure we were at the place for you know the correct place to get the shuttle and he was joking with us he was like oh they don't pick up here on Mondays you got to walk to the airport and he was just very like playful and kind of woke us up for the day so it was very nice um, I gave him a cast compliment and I also gave um, our bartender from Ogus Cantina yesterday a cast compliment and that's when you go into the My Disney Experience app and give them a shout out, you know, if they made your day a little special. Um, so that was really nice. And then um, the shuttle took about, I think like 30 minutes to get to the airport. Uh, maybe less than that, I think it was like 25 minutes to get to the airport. Um, finding, you know, the shuttle from Terminal C to Terminal B. No, from Terminal B to Terminal C was very easy. Um, it was very quiet today security took again like five minutes it was nothing um so now we're here just hanging tight but um also i went into the magic of disney store in terminal b and nothing was priced like well i only like browsed the spirit jerseys but they were not priced and i didn't feel like asking you know the employee like how much they were because i don't think i was going to really buy it i was just curious so it was very interesting I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a bit. I don't know how much longer this vlog will be just because it is travel day. Um, I actually will try the sandwich and I'll let you know. Hope actually went to go fill up our water bottles, um, but this is the sausage, egg and cheese. It looks incredible. I've got some ketchup here also. Also, my nails did not make it. <laughs> um, they kept popping off, so I just took them off because they were very uncomfortable, but it, it lasted for what it needed to last. All right, first bite of the sandwich. One of the better things that I've had on this trip, honestly. It's really good. The egg is a little too fried for me, but it's delicious. So we're gonna finish our breakfast and I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, just finished breakfast. It was great. I feel like new life has breathed into me. Um, I'm just gonna check the Walt Disney World store. There's actually another one here in Terminal C. And they've got socks from the Buzz Lightyear movie. He's so cute. Of course, they've got Buzz Lightyear. Got some Star Wars and Pixar stuff here. Choose your path. I feel like this is like blue or green milk size and I love it. It's not priced again. Honestly, I would get this if I didn't have my green milk sweatshirt. So <laughs> I'm glad I have it because I would have honestly probably gotten that. They've got some Marvel Spirit jerseys here. And look, they've got some bobble bar things here. These earrings are way too extravagant, but this bracelet's actually very cute. The jewelry is a little too much for me. Oh, these are, a, oh my gosh, see, this is more, I, this is more like it. It's very simplistic, very cute. I would definitely get that. Am I about to buy some jewelry? Hi, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like that the Disney vacation vlogs are over this weekend <laughs> has been a lot it's been very fun it's also been very stressful at times I lost my voice well I didn't lose my voice but it definitely sounds like something's going on just because like I was screaming 
a lot on the rides, but um, it's been an adventure. So if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, I would highly appreciate it if you did. If you enjoyed this vlog series, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. It will help my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. But this is where I end the vlog. I just got out the shower. I feel nice. My fiance Christian is on his way home with some Popeyes because that's my favorite fast food and I am going on a bit of a journey with my fitness so I can't really have that stuff anymore. Um, I'm getting married in I think less than 10 months now which is scary but exciting so that's what I'm going to be focusing on a lot so this year is going to be shifting into um, you know different focuses so I'm, I'm very excited to get back with wedding planning so Anyway, thank you so much again for sticking with me and following along on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.